Welcome to the first video of CSharp.net. In this video, we are going to cover how to get the data from the user, how to display the data onto the console, plus we'll see some language constructs like how to declare the variables, how to use if else statement, how to use a for loop. This is quite similar to C and CC++. So here we are going to create a console application using Visual Studio 2013. So make sure that you have selected the appropriate language. If you are a Visual Basic developer, you can select VB.NET or you can select c .net. Make sure that the appropriate framework is selected. So here we are going to select framework 4.51 that is .NET framework 5.0. Select the console application and we are going to store all the demos onto this path. So I'll just copy and paste it here. So this is our first console application. So the console application is an application which does not provide you a rich GUI. It's character based input output. So as you can see here also we have a main method available just the way we have see this method in cc++ so let us see how we can print the data onto the console i want to print a welcome message so i'll just say console dot write line this method is quite similar to printf and cout methods in c or c++ so here microsoft has done a very good thing for the programmer using which you can develop the application very easily and very fast they have given something called as code snippet so instead of doing the typing we can use the shortcut like when i say cw this is a code snippet for console.write line so just press tab twice and you put your message here so i'll say welcome to c sharp.net and console.write line so just run your program click on the start button or you can press f5 alternatively when you run it you will get the output on the console i'll just increase the font a little bit so that it will be visible properly okay so this is what the output we are getting now we are going to write a code to get two values from the user and to do a simple addition. So again, I will say console dot write line. Enter first number. I need a variable to store the value. Declaring the variable is quite similar to CC plus plus Java. So to get a value, so I will say console dot read line. So as you can see, Visual Studio is going to give you the help for the methods or whatever code you're going to do. So here you can see console.readline is not going to accept anything, but it is going to return the string. But this string we need to store into the integer variable. So we need to typecast it. So I'll say convert is a class which provides you certain method for converting a data type into other data types. So here we are supposed to convert this into the 32, complete the bracket. Okay, in this similar way, I will copy these two lines, paste it here, change the message. Second number, declare number two. And I wish to display the addition here. So I can say sum is number one plus number two. Again, I will say console dot read line to pause the screen. Run it again. So it has printed the message, the initial message onto the console. Press enter. Now enter the first number, enter the second number, and this is the addition. Okay, now here you can see it has done the concatenation. So again, we need to typecast this. 
actually I'll put this into the bracket let us see what happens so there's a what 30 so here we have created a simple console application for input and output here we have seen how to get a value from a user and how to convert it into other data types so thank you very much for watching the video in the next video i'll come up with the language constructs like if else and for loop thank you